Hello everybody, my name is Angela Schwarzkopf and I am the harp teacher at the Regent Park School of Music. Today I thought I would continue on with introducing you to the different harps in my home. This harp here is often referred to as a leafer harp or a Celtic harp. And this particular harp is very special. It's made by a Canadian instrument maker who lives in Nova Scotia and his name is Timothy Harper. And I got this harp in 2004, and that makes it the oldest harp in my home of harps. <laughs> so, this harp is a little different than the harp I introduced you to the last couple of weeks. Uh, you may notice it has a lot more strings. So the harps that we saw before had 26 strings, and this harp here has 36 strings. So it's a bigger instrument. Also, the strings, are still made out of nylon, but we also have another type of string at the bottom here that are made out of wire. So now we have two different types of material in the, in the type of strings we have on the instrument. It's set up the same way as the other harps where we have our C is red, and then D, E, and then we have our strings here that are on this harp. They are like a, a dark blue, and this one down here is even green. So these are F, and then G, A, E, and then back to our C. Now, if you remember last time on the harpsicle harp, we learned about levers a little bit. And this harp is different because it has levers on every single string. And what I've done is I've tuned my harp to be in C major when I have the E lever the A lever and the B lever up. So what that means is if I want to play in C major, I put those three levers up. And then if I want to play in F major, I can put my B lever down to make a flat. Or I can play in D major and put my F and my C lever up. So really, when I tune my harp this way, it allows me to play in three different flat keys and four different sharp keys and C major. So it gives me a lot of options for the kinds of pieces that I can play. So what I thought I would do today is play for you a song called Romanza, and it's by an anonymous composer, and it's been arranged for the harp, and it is going to use our F sharp levers. So I'm going to put them up right at this top. I already have my E, A, and B up. So now I'm in uh, G major or E minor. Um, this piece is in E minor. So I also am going to raise the seventh note of my scale, which is my D, make it sharp. And I'm going to just set this D sharp and this D sharp up. And then I want you guys to watch really closely because I'm actually going to change one of the levers partway through the song. I need it to be natural to begin with, and then as I play, I need it to be sharp. So keep your eyes open and see if you can find it. Here is Romanza. Mm -hmm. 